Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video tour. Today we are taking a look at this brand new 2024 River Ranch 393 RL 5th wheel. If you're one of those extended stay or full timer type of customers looking for something with a lot of exterior storage, this might be the one for you. I think this thing has the most outside storage I've ever seen on a fifth wheel. We're gonna take a few minutes here, run you through the inside and outside. We'll show you at the end what it looks like, all closed up as well. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are now up inside the brand new 2024 River Ranch 393 RL fifth wall here. As you've seen on the floor plan that was up a few seconds ago, this is a rear living room, front bedroom, couples style coach here. We're going to start back here in the back. We'll kind of work our way forward for you. So across the back side here, you're going to have a large sofa. Now this sofa has kind of a 50-50 split. So you can see in the pictures popping up here, I brought out the right side first. So I could actually have somebody just sleep on that side and still have room for my theater seat to be open. Or you can actually flip out both of them if you have a couple guests and need the extra room here for sleeping. So it's pretty cool how they set that sofa up to be a 50-50 split. Now you have large windows here across the back looking out the rear of the RV. All three of those windows do open. And you also have large windows here on your slide. So you get kind of a panoramic view on this whole section of the RV back here. Now you do have overhead cabinets up above your sofa area as well. You have a little end table on each side and those uh, end tables have USB charger ports built in there as well. There's also Electric outlet up here, light switch up here, and one of your uh, zone temperature sensors for the three ducted ACs that are on this RV. So stepping back here, you can see up here one of your three Coleman ducted AC systems, along with a little Bluetooth speaker system here, and then a large turbo exhaust fan right there as well. Now you have a power theater seat over here with little storage and cup holders in the middle. This power theater seat is facing straight at your entertainment center area right here. So you're gonna have your Insignia TV right there that they're currently using. You have that electric fireplace, which is basically a fancy electric space heater. Does a really great job of knocking the chill off back here. And then you also have some overhead cabinet space as well. They have a magnetic catch on the doors and they do have a soft close also. Moving on up into the kitchen area here, you're going to have really nice solid surface countertops up here. Now I did get a couple pieces out here, I just wanted to kind of show you. So first things up, this is a roughly two inch thick sidewall on a Columbus River Ranch here. So you have fiberglass, and then you also have a really nice thick piece of Asdale composite material, and you have your interior board, which is also attached to that uh, Asdale composite material. Now, a lot of brands, when they're trying to save a nickel, will do this same two-inch wall, but they do it with a thinner piece of Luon on the outer side, and then also Luon on the inside here as well. And that right there is very susceptible to water damage as it can rot mold and mildew versus a composite material here. Now, just to kind of get you an idea, this piece right here is a half and half, but it's also one inch thick, lightweight style wall. So kind of get you an idea, one inch, two inch, and two inch, this being the better of the three styles. There are other types of constructions out there, but those seem to be three of the most popular styles that a lot of manufacturers are using. So right here, you're going to have a island kitchen set up here. So you have three drawers here, some storage and stuff all around this area. You do have this high-rise sprayer faucet here, and you have this pretty cool sink. 
I have this little strainer cover thing here. I've got another little basket thing right here. There's another thing down below there. Uh, we got this cool cutting board set up. But this is a pretty neat setup here for an RV for sure. And then another really neat thing that they actually do that I really like is they do the tire pressure monitoring system, which is a great safety feature for them to have. So you can kind of keep up with your RV's tires when you're traveling down the road. So back over here, we're gonna have our Insignia oven, four burner stove top, large oven. Everybody seems to really love this oven. Nice feature here. There's storage on both sides of that oven as well. You have two pop-up electric outlets, one on each side of that oven right there. And they have USB ports built in and also wireless charging ports on the top as well. And up there, you're gonna have your large Samsung microwave and some storage on each side. Dinette wise, you have a uh, dinette that's attached to the wall instead of having the leg in the middle. So you don't have to worry about hitting your legs on that leg. You have a flip up counter extension right here. And that little extension will give you room for the two extra folding chairs that it comes with that are currently under the bed. You'll see when we get there. Um, but those will, that extension will basically let you sit four people here along with those extra two chairs. So pretty comfortable. If it's just going to be the two of you or if you got guests. Now over here, you're going to have this really large refrigerator set up here. Freezer on bottom, refrigerator part on top. It does have the ice maker built in. Uh, you also have a uh, little pantry area over there with some more drawers and cabinet space. Window over here does open. Now you do have, because this is an all one level floor up here and all that massive storage on the outside, you have kind of a little built-in staircase to get you up into this area. There is a little uh, closet thing down here on this side. Let's step on down here. So you got a little bit of storage area right down here. There is also the little thin shade to block this area off here for privacy. Spin back around here. And there is an electric box with the breakers and fuses down here. There's also a little cubby here so you can maybe kick your shoes under there or something. But a pretty cool setup here. This thing probably has one of the most unique setups as far as outside storage and being an all one level fifth wall. Uh, over here, you're going to have your Firefly system here, which is kind of the brains of a lot of the RV stuff. you got a bunch of stuff here on the home page for your holding tanks, tank heaters for cold weather camping, your zone temperatures for your AC. Um, you come in here, you got a bunch of light controls. You can dim and brighten a bunch of these when they have the up and down arrows on them. Right here, you have a 260-watt solar panel on the roof as well. And... This right here kind of tells you what's going on and kind of goes over all that. Three ACs on this one. The mid one here has a heat pump on it. Then you also have your propane furnace. Controls for your slides and the two awnings that are on the RV. And then some technical stuff inside of that part. Now let's step forward here a little bit more. We're going right on up the hallway area here. There's a magnetic catch down there to grab that door so it don't just bounce around. Up top there you have prepping for the Gateway Connect, which would allow you to subscribe to like AT&T or Verizon if you wanted to take internet with you. That's a nice feature that you might consider adding to the RV. Now behind this door, we have this gigantic bathroom. So you have a sliding door system there, but check out the bathroom. This thing is huge. You have a turbo exhaust fan up there, skylight up above. There's a window over there. Little sit down seat area in the shower as well. Glass enclosure. You have your porcelain foot flush toilet there. 
But what a massive shower here. And then over here, on that side, you got quite a bit of medicine cabinet space, some linen space for your towels and stuff, and you also have some storage down below. And again, a really nice solid surface countertops, even in here, with the nicely molded in bathroom sink stuff there. Now stepping out of your bathroom back into the hallway right here, you are going to have a huge closet and six drawers down there as well. They are full extending ball bearing drawer got a drawers with the soft close too. Moving forward a little bit more, we are going into our bedroom area. So over here at the foot of the bed, we have a window here on the right. We have a slide out system there, which is basically the TV entertainment area that's slid out. Um, they are currently using, looks like a Connects smart TV there. That's a 50 inch TV. You do have that electric fireplace. Again, another space heater to basically help keep this thing warm. And you have six drawers as well. Plenty of room up there for, you know, a Blu-ray player or satellite box or something if you're going to be traveling. Now, in the front area over here on the right, you're going to have your washer dryer area for a stackable washer dryer. You have some overhead space as well. And then you have hanging closet across there as well. Now, just to kind of peek in here a little bit. Electric outlets are up high, and then you have your water stuff down below. So if you don't want to do a washer dryer, it's just a big closet. Now back here, you kind of see this a little bit better than the picture that was up. There's an electric outlet down there, hanging bar up here, motion light as well. Camper King bed. That bed will raise up. There is a lot of storage space under there, and you can see those extra chairs under there as well. Also notice that is an aluminum framed bed uh, cage as well, instead of wood. So a little more expensive for them to do that, but definitely adds a little extra strength to it as well. That big window back there does open, along with the one beside the bed over there. You have little shelf space up high there, and then you also have end table on each side of the bed as well. Little directional reading lights. And then over here, you're going to have another closet and drawer space as well. But lots of room in this area up here. So it doesn't feel real claustrophobic feeling. Nice tall ceiling heights. Uh, you got, uh, let's see, 84 inch bedroom height that says right here. Beautiful setup here for a couple. Now I want to go outside. I want to show you around the outside of the RV. Check out all this big massive storage and stuff that's out there. Then we're going to come back in. I want to show you what this thing looks like closed as well. We'll be right back on the outside. All right. We are now back on the outside of the brand new 2024 River Ranch 393 RL by Columbus. We are going to start here on the door side, kind of work our way around for you. So first things up, this has a white fiberglass exterior attached to the upgraded Asdale composite material. The interior board is also an upgraded composite material as well. So it's kind of set up as a double Asdale feature where most are just on the outside not the inside wall board as well. So kudos to them for going the extra mile to do a better wall construction there. Now we have two power awnings with LED light strips on each arm. These awnings do have the metal protective wrap. So when they're closed up, they have that encasing to kind of help protect that material and stuff from UV rays and when traveling down the road. So I kind of like that upgrade as well. Now you do have six point automatic hydraulic leveling jack system. So you have a heavier duty system than the 
less expensive electric version. Behind the first door is one of your two 30 pound propane tanks. Now check out this compartment. Huge area right here. You can see some of that aluminum tube framing and stuff up there as well. Same thing over here. Now there are outside TV hookups here as well. So if you wanted to set a TV out in this area, you could do so. Check out the little hinge system. It's got a little pivot hinge system here for these doors. Pretty stout system. It's got like a little bit of a friction hinge to it. Now you do have the electric outlet right there. There is also a spare tire mounted down below as well. You have that heavy duty more ride entry exit step. Now this step has the shock assist on it as well. Now those feet are adjustable. So depending on your terrain that you're in, but check this out. It's literally holding itself up. So it's super easy to flip in and out. You have another light down there as well. It's currently riding on Cooper tires, drum brakes, tire pressure monitoring system. It has a uh, ABS brake system on it as well. You have that heavy duty more ride handle there. Another thing I like too, the entry door has the friction hinge on it, but it also has a little pull strap here, a little kind of spring loaded pull strap to close your screen door. And then it has that Lippert thin shade already built into the window. So you don't have to spend an extra few bucks on that thing. Step back here so you can kind of see down this whole side a little bit better. They do offer an exterior paint job as well. So if you have the extra cash to throw at it, that might be something to consider for you. Look at this, even more storage back here. This is crazy amount of storage on this thing. Down below there is also a gas line hookup. So you could do a little portable grill or something out here. It has two JBL speakers out here as well. And you'll notice they're down kind of low, so they're a little bit easier to hear. They're about head height. Um, so just a little bit easier to hear versus the ones that are up real high, shooting sound toward your neighbor instead of down in the area that you're actually camping at. Back here on the back, you have the ladder here, gets you up and down on and off the roof. That is rated for 250 pounds. You have this really nice heavy duty more ride tray right here that just slides back in. Just down below right here, you have a 3000 pound towing hitch. Has a 300 pound tongue weight, four way flat setup. The big rear baggage door there has magnetic holders to hold it up. You're prepped in the top center there for the Furion rear observation camera. Another nice feature to consider adding to the RV, letting you see what's going on behind you when you're traveling down the road. You can see that security light there in the back corner. Now right here you have a powered power cord reel. So you can stick it in there and basically hit the button and kind of roll it up. It has a 50 amp detachable power cord, plugs in right there in the back corner. Probably stretches out, I'd say close to 30, maybe 35 feet, somewhere in that range, pretty good size cord. You're gonna have, again, more storage on this side, basically the same as what you've seen over on the other side. Step back so you can kind of see down this whole side a little bit better. Now real quick, just popping up a picture of the roof. So you can see things up top here as far as like your three air conditioners, uh, your Weingard Air 360 Plus TV antenna, which is that little black dome over there. You have you know your solar panel up here, 260 watt solar panel on the RV standard. A uh, few other things as far as plumbing, stack vents, all that type of stuff. Very important to get up here from time to time, inspect your seams and your seals and all that good stuff. Just keep up with your maintenance. Down here, you're going to have a little access door to get to the back of your refrigerator. 
so you can check on your ice maker water line and stuff. Maybe have to clean out your little you know area right here every now and then over time. You get dusty and dirty. Um, so just nice little access panel there so you don't have to rip out the whole fridge. Right here you have like a little docking station area. So you've got a water filtration system. You have an electric outlet right here as well. You got your black tank flush, water inlet. You send the water where you want it to go by these valves. A water pump switch here. You have your hot and cold outside utility shower, which hooks up to this little blue hose. You can feed things through here to make them work. Again, you have that nice swing door there. Down below here, you're gonna have your dump area. So you've got hot and cold low point water drains down here on the right. You have your dump area here, and then you have your gray galley and black tank dumps right here. They are the cable style dump handles, so the gate valves are up in the underbelly for colder weather. So you just kind of pull them from right here. You have your large furnace exhausting out right here, and your big water heater, which is a gas and electric water heater right here as well. Lots of storage again. Over here on this side, you're gonna have your inverter up here, 1800 watt power inverter. You have your jack controls over here as well. The other 30 pound propane tank right here, just gonna get you an idea what that looks like. You've seen one, you've seen them all. Auto changeover regulator up there. Right here, we have some informational stickers. So, first up, this is 215.75R 17 and a half inch H rated tires. Again, Cooper tires. 123 PSI, keep up with your tire pressure. Very, very important. Dry weight of the RV, 14,362 pounds, the way it rolled off the assembly line. Exterior length, 42 feet, seven inches. You have a gross vehicle weight of 17,999 pounds. Very important not to exceed that number. On around to the front side here, you do have a slightly sloped front cap. It's kind of bubbled out a little bit at the bottom area. Has an LED light strip built in here. Now this right here is pretty impressive. They put the Kurt Flex Air suspension on here. Nice, kind of expensive hitch. Uh, it has the combination of the Rotoflex and the Air Ride both built in right here to help with the bounce along with the chucking as well. So definitely love that upgrade. Right here, you're gonna have a area right down here where you could do a portable solar panel up to 20 amp and basically have extra solar if you wanted to. You could also add more to the roof if you want. Uh, you have a little light underneath the here. There's the switch for the LED light strip out front here as well. And then there's a light up in there that also works off of one of these switches. There is a little basket over here. You have your hydraulic reservoir for your jacks uh, all right here as well. There's a uh, battery disconnect up there. There's also room for a couple batteries down here in a tray. And then if you wanted to maybe do a generator or something like that, you could do something like that. Plenty of room in there for that. All right, now I wanna step back inside here. I want to show you what it looks like closed up as well. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are now stepping back up inside the new 2024 River Ranch 393 RL fifth bowl here. And I wanted to show you what it looks like closed. So I've already went ahead and closed things up for you just to kind of speed this part of the video up. You can see when it's closed, I can come in here and load some groceries and stuff in my refrigerator. So no big deal there. I could come over here, wash my hands or something if I needed to, but I'm not really getting to the back side of the RV. It's pretty much blocked off unless you're climbing over top of that island or crawling underneath of that table maybe. Doesn't sound very fun. But 
The important part, I can get to my fridge without opening it up to grab something out of there at a rest area or something. I can come in here and I can get to my bathroom as well. So another big feature there, but I cannot get forward to the bedroom. When it's closed up, I'm blocked off from that part of the RV. So you would have to bump out the slide to go up and maybe throw your clothes or get something else out of that area. All right, folks, thanks a ton for taking the time to watch this part of my video. Greatly appreciated. If you don't mind, please remember to hit that like button. And as always, please remember to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation, guys. They are one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. They will definitely save you a lot of money on a new RV. Thanks again.